Welcome to Cozy Noah Vibes, where we listen, relax, and gradually fall asleep. I'm Noah, and I'm delighted to have you join us tonight. We'll be traveling to the warm waters of the Turkish Mediterranean coast, exploring the stunning surroundings of Kekovi Island. Before we begin, I want to point out some new changes in the show. Those who like to check the show notes may have noticed that we now mention different contents and themes in each story. This is because our stories are diverse, and that's something we're very proud of. We understand that not every story is suitable for everyone. For example, some people enjoy food-filled travels or swimming in the sea, while others may want to avoid these themes. With that in mind, we will include mentions of potentially sensitive topics in all our show notes, so you can ensure you find a story that suits you. We hope this makes it easier for you to fall asleep. Now, Let's prepare for tonight's story. Please take a deep breath, hold it at the top for a moment, and then exhale slowly, letting yourself sink deeper into the bed. Give yourself full permission to let go of the day's troubles and release anything that's been bothering you. It's time for peace and rest, and you are in a safe haven. If you haven't already, please gently close your eyes as you adapt to the dark condos behind your eyelids. You might see some colors or spots of light in your mind. Let these visuals evolve and expand naturally in your imagination. Begin to imagine a serene blue ocean glistening under the warm golden sunlight. We are about to drift towards the coastline of the Turkish Mediterranean. Where calm, turquoise waters lap gently against smooth, pale pebbles, and this is where our story begins. You are standing on a simple dock, feeling the warm sunlight caress your skin enjoying the peace and happiness it brings. You take a deep breath of the fresh, salty air, noticing the rocky landscape around you. Cream-colored rocks and boulders are adorned with olive trees, lemon trees, and Mediterranean shrubs. The sea gently laps at the shore behind you as you stand on the dock. Facing a dazzling turquoise ocean and a beautiful olive green island, this is Kekova. Beside you, you notice a boat with rich wood and panels and a top deck perfect for viewing the surroundings. The bright blue waters around the boat shimmer in the warm sunlight. The water is so clear you can see the light colored rocks at the bottom. Several meters below, you take another deep breath, feeling a sense of happiness, and look at the water, noticing a school of small fish swimming just beneath the surface. Their silver bodies glisten in the sunlight, inviting you to quietly watch them. When you're ready, you move towards the boat, your steps naturally leaving the dock and stepping onto the boarding ladder without much thought. You step lightly onto it, climbing up to the lower deck. You feel the gentle sway of the boat on the water, so peaceful and soothing. Then you find a comfortable seat on the lower deck, with a perfect view of everything around you. The seat fully supports your body, bringing a sense of contentment and happiness. 
the sun is still warm, and now a soft breeze lightly brushes your skin. In this moment, you are grateful for the beautiful weather of the entire day. As you prepare to explore the waters ahead, the boat's engine starts, feeling like magic. You begin to glide elegantly towards the island, with the boat carrying you forward, and you realize any worries or concerns are gradually fading away, as if you left them on the dock, disappearing into the air. You simply relax in the present, knowing you only need to let yourself be taken towards Kekorvi Island. As the island gets closer, you can see its silver green olive trees covering its surface. Among the olive trees, pink boulders roll into the sea. The closer you get, the more patterns and structures you notice on the island. You wonder what these patterns are and soon realize they are ancient stone steps winding up from the sea. Your eyes follow these steps, seeing them lead to weathered platforms and strange low walls, the ancient ruins of the city of Elysium. As the boat approaches the island, you see more and more of this city, its ruins hidden among the olive trees, with edges and carvings becoming clearer. Then your gaze drifts to the sparkling water. For just a few meters below the surface, you can see more ruins of ancient buildings. These foundations are made of solid stone, constructed by skilled craftsmen long ago. As the boat slowly stops, you feel a wonderful sensation surrounding you. Seeing traces of life left by ancient people is so beautiful. The faint, busy sounds of the ancient court seem to echo in your imagination. You close your eyes, taking the time to fully imagine it, inviting Kekovi Island to reveal its past. With a splash, the sound of an ancient anchor hitting the sea echoes and you seem to see the bustling scenes of Kekova in its heyday. The murmurs of fishermen seem to drift in the wind, and you can see their silver fish catches glittering in the sun. People are moving them from simple wooden boats, and you imagine the women in the town happily haggling, exchanging stories, and laughing. Then there are the cool footsteps up and down the stone steps. Echoing through time, you hear the low murmurs of men exchanging news and ideas, the joyful songs of children greeting friends. You imagine a child playing on the dock with a dog, the dog happily panting and barking, its tail wagging on the hills among the olive groves. Boyd rides white goats towards the town. You hear the bleeding of the goats as they lazily move through the shrubs. You immerse yourself in this daily life's joy, as if it were thousands of years ago. You can feel the simple pleasures of being close to nature, living in a familiar community, experiencing the satisfaction after a day of hard work, whether at sea, in the port, or among the olive groves, you indulge in the contentment of dining outdoors on a warm evening, or waking up to the fresh scent of the azure sea and lemon trees. The magic of Kekovi Island opens your heart, seeming to calm your entire body and mind. Then. You become aware of the gentle motion of the boat again, as if something is calling you back, just as magically as you first discovered it. 
you let the ancient Kekovi island fade away, letting the images of these people and their gentle leaves melt away. But you also notice that the sense of happiness remains deep within your bones. You slowly return to the present day Kekovi island, still beautiful but surrounded by sunken ruins. The boat soon turns, heading slightly in a different direction, and as you take a last grateful look at the island and turn to face the open waters, you feel that something wonderful is waiting ahead. The boat is taking you to another dock at the base of a small peninsula. As you see this scene, you realize that on its hill is the ruin of another castle, built of light, rust-colored sandstone. You see a path winding from the dock through a small village, leading to this castle. As the boat slows down, you trace this path with your eyes, then stop, take your time disembreaking, and you slowly walk onto the dock, a sense of curiosity rising. You follow the wooden dock towards the village and winding path, the air filled with the scent of rosemary and thyme. You notice these herbs growing abundantly, breathing in their earthier alma permeating the air. Your feet naturally find the path, the slightly gravelly path crunching lightly underfoot. The path takes you through a series of wooden restaurants, closed but prepared for tomorrow's patrons. You observe the handmade tables and chairs. Once past these restaurants, the path takes you over a small hill, down into a courtyard full of lemon trees. The branches are heavy with bright yellow lemons, and you inhale their fresh scent. The path continues out of the courtyard, beginning to climb to the village. You pass houses painted white and pale yellow, cleverly built on the slope. Clean sheets hang on clothal signs, gently swaying in the breeze. You notice each house is lovingly cared for by its owners. You continue climbing, passing through the village, appreciating the twisted olive trees now beside the path. Then the path begins to widen, leaving the village behind, and the scent of herbs fills the air again. The path curves to the left, and you follow its arc your curiosity growing stronger. The path takes you around a cluster of olive trees, and soon you find yourself standing at the base of the castle ruins. You gaze in wonder at the castle, its ancient walls majestically standing before you. You can see where windows and doors once were. Standing here, you feel the warm sunlight on your back. You turn to face it, realizing below is the most beautiful view. From the castle top, you can see the vast expanse of the Mediterranean, with Kekodi Island sitting ahead, surrounded by the same dazzling turquoise waters. To the right is the Turkish mainland, dotted with rocks and trees like a green arm. The warm breeze here clears your mind, and you are surrounded by a deep sense of happiness and peace. Then, a slight sense of motion quietly arrives, and you naturally turn back to the castle, finding yourself walking towards it. You let your steps take you through a broken wall, discovering a special corner, perhaps once a bedroom. The walls are worn but mostly still standing. On one 
inside is a rough rectangular hole, and you imagine a wooden door there long ago, almost seeing its rough, deep grain, but beyond the doorway is still that brilliant sea view and the hazy green of Kekovi Island. From this angle, it seems like a gateway to another world. This is the perfect serene moment you have been searching for. You invite this tranquility to completely and thoroughly wash over you. As it descends, you feel the tiredness of your body, the kind that comes after a long, wonderful journey. The rectangular doorway, this ancient gateway, invites you forward, feeling that something magical is about to happen. The beautiful scene seems to sparkle in anticipation, and you know whatever happens will be inspiring and wonderful. So you gently lift your left foot, stepping over the threshold as you step across the stone. Your body starts to tingle, as if all weight is being lifted away, and you gradually become as light as a feather, almost through the threshold, and a warm breeze shifts, blowing against your back, towards the sea. Now you are so light and soft that the breeze gently lifts you, as if you truly are a feather ready to be carried by the wind, you feel all you need to do is relax as you yield to the warm, gentle breeze. You feel yourself being lightly lifted, floating in the air. You know in this magical place, you are completely safe. Then, the breeze starts to carry you away from the castle gently floating you down the hillside, surrounded by a feeling of ease. The more you trust the breeze, the better you feel. The breeze gently carries you, slowly floating towards the village. You watch as houses and clothal signs pass below, the courtyard of lemon scents once again touching your nose and you take another deep breath of the fresh lemon aroma. Then, the breeze carries you past the wooden restaurants, gently floating towards the dock, and you see the fish shimmering below. The breeze carefully brings you back to the boat. You land lightly on the top deck like a butterfly, finding a beautiful white bed prepared for you covered with white cotton canopies that shield the light. You walk to it, touching the clean sheets, lying down on the comfortable mattress, the pillow being the best you've ever used, and the sheets fresh and comforting. It's so easy to feel comfortable here. The magical scenery of Kekodi Island and the surrounding perfect serenity drift into your thoughts. You comfortably sigh, grateful for the gentle breeze, enjoying the beauty presented by this island and castle. You pull up the sheets, covering yourself, and relax. As your breathing slows, your eyelids close, and you are thankful for the journey you embarked on, finally feeling yourself drifting into sleep. You sail into the deepest, most relaxing sleep, fully knowing that when you wake up, the tranquility of the Turkish Mediterranean coast will still be with you.